DJ's Brew Tube Mix Drink How To. Okay, guys, you see DJ's got the bar supplies out en masse today. I even got the blender broken out. And you're saying, damn, you got a big old pile of stuff in front of you. What the hell are you making? I'm going to make a holiday special drink that I love to make around the holidays, prepare ahead of time, make a couple extra bottles up and bring to a party, and give that gift that keeps on giving. That's right, boozy gift. It's always better with booze, isn't it? Yeah, anyways, so what am I making today? Not to digress too far, I'm gonna make coquito. And what does coquito mean? Coquito means little coconut. And now coquito is really popular and famous coming from Puerto Rico and the Caribbean. Why? Because coquito, which means little coconut, is gonna be a coconut-centric eggnog. It's a play on eggnog, but you've got plenty of Caribbean spices in there, like allspice, clove, nutmeg, that kind of thing, giving it that Caribbean kick. Plus, we're using rum instead of whiskey, like Scotch whiskey or bourbon or Irish whiskey. We're gonna use rum. So, without further ado, let's get into making our coquito. Super easy, and we're gonna start out with four egg yolks. Now, I'm using pasteurized egg eggs. I got whole eggs and I took the egg yolks and I separated them, but something you can buy today that makes the drink nice and safe is pasteurized eggs. Now, if you want to go the extra step, I'll put down in the instructions um, how to like you know pasteurize these further or cook them out you know up to 160 degrees, make sure all the pathogens are killed. But I'm pretty secure with this. Plus, I'm going to put a boatload of booze in with this that's going to knock out those germs. So we got our four egg yolks that I've already beaten a little bit. Now we're going to put those in first. Now, normally, you see, you know, a lot of times you start with dry ingredients and stuff like that, but there's so little dry ingredients, I'm going to start with the egg yolks. Now, when you really want to integrate your spices into a drink, you put them into the egg yolks. Now, in the spice mix that I've got here in the bowl, as you can see, I've got um, a full teaspoon of cinnamon, I've got an eighth a teaspoon of ground clove, eighth of teaspoon of ground nutmeg, eighth a teaspoon of allspice, and a pinch of salt. I like the pinch of salt. I think it gives it that little bit extra in there to balance out some of the sweetness and everything. So we're going to pour that in. We've got to mix in with our egg yolks. I'm going to put the top on this. I'm going to get it blending. And once I'm done blending, we'll set this so it doesn't go crazy. I'll be back within a flash to save you the noise and all the pain of this blending up. Back in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. Knock that out quick and easy. We'll pop our top off here. Oh, that's looking lovely. And it's smelling awesome, all those places. Now we're going to put our different kinds of milk in, coconut milk and normal milk. So first we've got evaporated milk and this is a 12 ounce can. We're going to pour that right in. See, look, look how easy this is, guys. I mean, I'm pouring ingredients into the blender. We're not talking rocket science here. This is easy stuff. Okay, we get all that in there. Next, we've got a whole can. Now this one's 13.5 fluid ounces of coconut milk. Now, when you open up coconut milk, sometimes it'll be like sort of waxy on the inside. So what you do is you put this one in a pot of warm water for a little tiny bit, not hot water, not boiling or anything, just warm. And it warms it up, makes everything congeal back together because the cooler room temperature makes it separate and be clumpy. And now, look at that. Pour smooth glass right into the blender, the whole can just dumps. Next up, we've got a whole can, a 14 ouncer of uh, sweetened evaporated milk. Now I'm using the full fat versions of these because I think it gives it the best flavor. It's a holiday drink, you're not gonna drink tons of it, but if you want, you can use the reduced or fat-free versions of these milks also. So, we're gonna pour this in, and this is gonna take forever because it's nice and thick. Look at that. Don't you love a, like uh, condensed milk pouring out? It just looks so freaking delicious, and it tastes great too. So, got our whole can of that in there. Mmm, man, that does taste great. Now, you can buy the Coco Lopez canned version of this, this is cream de coco, or cream of coconut, and we're going to put 15 ounces in here. Now, a can of coco lopez is 15 ounces. This is a little bit bigger, so I've shaken it up. I also did the warming thing with this in the pot because it helps it go out better, but I like this type of bottle because look at this. It just squirts right out, and we're going to put nearly the whole bottle in there. Boom. That should be about 15 ounces. You know what? We don't have to be 100% exact, so I'm going to give this a spin now, get these integrated together, and when I'm... When I'm back, we'll add our rum. Easy breezy, right? Exactly, back in a flash. Okay, I'm back guys, we got everything mixed here, and man, this is already smelling awesome. We got our egg yolks in there, we got our condensed milk, evaporated milk, cream of coconut, coconut milk, all of our spices, damn. Now, 
we're gonna get to what we really want to put in this, isn't it? That's right, we're gonna get to the booze. In here we're gonna put in 16 ounces or two cups of dark rum. A lot of folks, well it's not a lot of folks, there's so many variations of this recipe, but some folks like to use white rum because they wanna keep the color really light. I prefer the color looking a little bit darker, you know, like sort of spicy and, and rich. So I'm gonna put two cups of, of rum in here and I've got two tablespoons of pure vanilla extract, not the imitation stuff. So we'll pour this right in. Get that into our lovely mixer here. And we're gonna give this a whirl. And as before, as soon as it's done, I'll be back and we'll show you our finished product and then we'll get to bottling and tasting. Back in a flash. Okay guys, I'm back. Everything's all blended together. It's got a lovely sort of uh, off-white color to it, cream color. Of course, it's creamy. It's got a lot of milks in it. And man, when you smell it, Man, it's got a lovely, super rich rum, sort of eggy, kind of like, it's not that eggnoggy type smell that, you, that you're used to. So, we've got our two bottles that are nice and clean here. Both contain rum at one time in their life. So now they're going to contain sort of a rum concoction. So we're going to put this and bottle it up. And this is a real technical step here. We're going to take the pitcher and we'll put our funnel over. And we're going to pour it into the bottle. As you can see, this is a difficult, real scientific type of action here. We got one bottle here. These are both, uh, I think, 500 or 750 milliliter, 750 milliliter bottles, I believe. And we take our next one, pour it in. As you can see, real difficult. Keep your funnel down tight so you don't make a big old mess like I'm doing. <laughs> Almost done. Look at that. Yes. Okay. I'm going to clean up here. I got enough to serve myself one. It won't taste exactly like it will once I'm done, but I'll be back in a flash. I'll show you what a prepared drink will look like with a little bit of garnish on the top of it, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. As you can see, we have our two bottles of Coquito here and some of our ingredients. Really simple to make, and here we have our delicious prepared beverage. Look at that. Lovely and coating. You can see the nice cinnamon we've garnished on the top, a little bit of shake of that. Let's get the aroma and see what the taste is like too. Man, you get that nice blast of cinnamon off the top that we've got floating in there. You can smell the creaminess from the coconut, the, the uh, evaporated milk and the condensed milk and all that. Man, you can smell a little bit of waft of the rum, but it's really subtle and really masked in there. Mm, but the underlying tone of that cinnamon and spiciness and everything combined with the coconut, man, just delicious. I'm gonna take a taste of this, and I guess I gotta say to you, Feliz Navidad, Prospero Año, Todo Eso, Feliz Año Nuevo, y Salud. Cheers, guys. Wow. Man, that is awesome. It doesn't, maybe a lot of the things people don't like about eggnog, that bitey flavor that the nog has in it, that eggnog has in it, does not exist in this drink. It's all about cinnamon, lusciousness, rum, goes down smooth. You can taste the booze, but it doesn't burn. Goes down your chest, gives you a nice warming effect. And when this is cold, I like it even better. Some people do warm it up as well, but most people I've ever seen drink it, drink it cold. So really awesome tasting drink. Man, I keep going back to it. That's damn good. So super easy to make, guys. Complete recipe and instructions will be down here in the notes section. I hope you have a great holiday, and anytime you can make this, it just doesn't have to be a holiday, but you know what? It seems to fit the winter months and sort of the New Year's and kind of Christmas spirit, doesn't it? So, to the next DJ's BrewTube, thanks a million to each and every one of you for watching, rating, commenting, subscribing. Don't forget to hit that like button. If you got some questions, send them on to me. I love the quid pro quo. Till the next time, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Like I said, until then, I got nothing but a bunch of love for you and a big ass. Peace out!